Hello, I'm Deborah Kafori, your Multnomah County Chair, and welcome to the State of the County 2021. On a typical year, the State of the County is about ups and downs. This year, the State of the County is a state of emergency. We are here tonight to ask you for your help. We are facing a virus, COVID-19, a virus that before January, no one in this country had ever seen. On Tuesday, Multnomah County saw its first case. On Wednesday, I declared a state of emergency. That declaration gave us the ability to meet new and growing needs. It has now been extended four times. We mean it when we say it. Stay home if you are sick, wash your hands regularly, and assume this virus is in the community. Closing public libraries in Multnomah County like this is an extraordinary measure. It's never happened in modern times. As of today, we are no longer allowing social visitation at our two jail facilities to help prevent any further spread of the virus. We know there are seniors who won't be seeing their friends, we know that there are thousands of kids who rely on school meals. What do we want? Justice! What do we want? It? No! As our country and our community faced this once in a century pandemic, we also faced a much older and no less deadly pandemic of racism. And systemic injustice. And then, as if we needed further proof of the climate crisis, in September, our state experienced extraordinary wildfires. We faced choking, toxic smoke that blanketed our community for a record five days and drove thousands of Oregonians to flee to Multnomah County. In a typical year, any one of these events would have been daunting. Together, they have been traumatic, overwhelming, and gut-wrenching. I'm Dr. Jennifer Vines, the Multnomah County Health Officer. But at every turn, I'm gonna to talk today about hand washing. Multnomah County was there. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create a face covering. Make sure it covers your nose, mouth, and chin. Think about what supplies you might need. To educate. To track the virus. To distribute PPE. to provide safe shelter and housing. To organize meals. I have these moms and dads who say, we can't really sleep because of the burden that they have to carry, that they don't have income, they don't know what to say to their kids in the morning. That's really what keeps us going every day. To hold fair elections. Again, And again. To vaccinate. To appreciate our community. Good morning, everyone. And to carry on with county business. Planning an earthquake ready Burnside Bridge. Making Cornelius Pass Road safer. Opening a new school-based health center. Passing the first supportive housing services levy. Passing the library bond. And for the first time ever, approving the ballot measure preschool for all. Building the new courthouse. We've risen to every challenge, but the work of Multnomah County is far from complete.